sat and thought what would happen if we took professional athletes and placed them in unfamiliar territory, take them beyond pro. And who would we take to do that? So firstly we approached Alroy Ghilan, who is an ambassador of TomTom Tom and represented South Africa this year at the Olympic Games. He also holds the South African 5000 meter record. And together with Alway, we threw in our very own EC Active Managing Director, Temba Madima, who is the 2013 Pakaro Ban Invictus Award runner-up. The next question was, where would we take them? So we decided to send them to Sabi and Pumalanga, where Kestel Adventures would test out their competitive spirit compared to their adventurous spirits. We arrived at Kestel's place, saw this office, small office. I was a bit scared, didn't know what to expect, you know. He arrived, he actually greeted us nice and warmly. I'm Kestel from Kestel Adventures and we do upselling, caving, cliffing, white water tubing and forest cruises and team building. And then we drove to, 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 to the cave. It was a eight kilometer drive, it was a bit cold. We put on our, 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 our suits, <laughs> a bit of laughter going on there, some extra lots, <laughs> some jokes going around the color of the, of, the, of, the, of the suits. I must be honest, it was the first time I went into a cave. When we arrived walking into the cave, at first really fright, you know, because it was really dark in there. It's a bit tight in there, it's very dark in there, and at least I know I don't have uh, claustrophobic uh, problems. There was a stage where we went into the cave and, and it really got dark. We couldn't actually see nothing. But luckily with our Tom Tom watch, you know, we, we, it's got a, a night um, um, watch, so, so we could actually see what time it was in the cave. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh, the... <sighs> yeah, no, I just thought, man, this is one of those things I need to do. <laughs> Although it did look like we, we're not gonna make it. A few tight spots that we went through, uh, a bit uncomfortable. <laughs> Candles. Jacket, yeah. Jacket. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a problem. <laughs> yeah, this one can make a person claustrophobic. Eh? <laughs> lost me. Are you gonna come out now? I'm pretty much lost me. In the cave, it was like Elroy was right at home. He just made his way from one point to the next like a light-footed cat. I think I had a strategy going into the walk, you know. <laughs> I was almost white-footed walking. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think there was a stage where my foot slipped, yeah, but I stayed on my feet. Timba, on the other end, I found quite a few times making himself at home on the ground. Sometimes when you slip and you land on your bum, people think you're falling. Meanwhile, you're strategically placing yourself on the ground to rest and recover. It's not how many times you fall, it's how many times you get up. I got up every time, Adrian. That's the thing that's most important. <laughs> I'm Christopher Georgiadis. I'm hosting Alroy Galant. I'm here at the Woodsman Pub and Restaurant in Sabi. It's nice to have somebody at his caliber visit us and showcase our part of the world. Everybody there is welcoming, they were friendly to us. I think Saturday was a very interesting morning. We started by waking up. When we woke up, we went uh, out on the site in, uh, in South Beach just for a nice, easy run. 
We had a stretch of about three kilometers just on gravel road, so that was really a great jog this morning we had in Sabi. Then we headed off to Lone Creek uh, by the waterfall there. We got to see the waterfall as well as Elroy doing uh, some running there by the waterfalls. The slow start to the day was actually the calm before the storm. We didn't want them to get too comfortable, so we took them immediately into an action-packed day, starting with abseiling. Yeah, I actually didn't know what to expect. I've done abseiling before, but I think here's a few cliffs that are going to scare me today. I've done abseiling before, but this one, I don't know. It was just something... <laughs> Something different about it is a bit uh, more scary initially, uh, but yeah, as I, I didn't want to initially go, I thought maybe let me get some time to breathe. No, 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 wait. no, no, lean back, don't go back. Didn't want to do it, so I had to push him a little bit, physically, literally push him. <laughs> no, 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 he's like, go, go, go. I was like, no, no, he gets me. He's like, go. What was he saying? He was saying all kinds of gibberish. <laughs> that didn't really make sense. <laughs> He's like, basically, he says a lot of things that doesn't make sense. <laughs> That was really a great experience to go down that waterfall, abseiling. I really enjoyed it. At first it was a bit of a fright for me, but I think after the first one, and even with Castle, you know, getting us or giving us that confidence to go down, it made it really nice actually to go down for the second time. Tubing was exciting, um, we had to use our arms, you know, for pedaling. Bit of an arm workout, uh, but uh, I don't mind the workout. El Rechaland maybe needed it a bit more, because uh, those arms of his are built for long distance. Jump, boom, fun. <laughs> we had a lot of uh, funny moments. Elroy Haaland uh, jumping on tubes as if he's standing on solid rock. I thought this was going to be like a rock where I can jump on, uh, but it wasn't that stable. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. Huh? You must respect the water. And he learned quickly when he went diving in with his head into the water. So I went nose dive first into the water. This was <laughs> Bucket list can tick off to say I've jumped off, off, off a cliff. Before the very last rapid, Kestel told the story of a group he took just before us, all non-athletes, and not one of them fell off. So obviously Temba and Elroy took up that challenge. Elroy barely reached the bottom and he was in face first once again. Temba on the other hand was very determined to win this one. Sometimes you go down fast and you just want to stay on your tube. And sometimes you fall off, but you need to fight. Uh, other than, uh, it's hard fighting the water, but that's what I did. I just wanted to make sure that I finished with a bang. Oh! 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 
and I did not finish the bank, so I'm a bit disappointed, but good experience all around. It was fun. The last morning, the guys went for clothing, which Kestel describes as hiking on steroids. There, they got some time to reflect on the entire weekend. Walking down these mountainous areas, you know, going with Voter the dog as well. <laughs> So yeah, I really enjoyed it. This is something that each and every single person should do. Yeah, it's really a nice getaway, you know, for my mind, soul, body, and especially friendship. This guy is fearless, guys. I thought I thought maybe I, I was gonna be the guy who's fearless here, but um, I'm really surprised. Timba still my word, fearless. Uh, yeah, so uh, uh, <laughs> Alro is definitely fearless, and. Uh, Demba is a fun guy, a little bit more cautious. Three scariest moments, uh, morning jog uh, with Elroy Haaland, the Olympian, I thought I'm gonna die. That was number one. Most scariest I think was at first the, the kites, going into the kites with the candle. I think that was a bit scary for me at first, didn't know what to expect. Number two, scariest moment was jumping off one of the, the areas we had to jump off when we were doing the gecko wing. It was quite high, uh, I got a bit of a scare there. Racers, man. <laughs> At first when we came here, seeing Temba, that was a bit scary. <laughs> At the cave, yeah, there was a place in the cave there where I thought, you know what, if, uh, if they leave me here, it's fine, you know, I might as well, I lived a good life. Number three, what's number three? I think it's Adrian's here, you know. <laughs> It also gave me a fright when he came out of the waterfall. That is not funny. <laughs> but at least that was the end of their journey. Now they were headed home. I'm really grateful and thankful for TomTom for, Tom Tom for making this weekend possible. It was really nice adventures that we did. Um, yeah, and, and also for Backtrack, yes, for capturing all these activities we did these past two days. Yeah, and the, the, the stay at Woodman's was very nice uh, being able to stay here as well as Castle Adventures. It was good, you know, everybody was good to us, they were friendly. But it is that time, it's time to go back home. Hello, Tom Tom. I'm listening. Go home. Do you want to go home? Yes. Finding a route home.